in a situation that you inserted yourself into by putting out a really horrible statement is no one's fault but your own. Selena Gomez, a 31-year-old woman, has found a way to make the Israel-Palestine conflict all about herself. At least, that's what the entire internet thinks. A literal genocide is going on right now and Selena Gomez still found a way to make it about herself. Selena Gomez needs to stop. Like, you have time to go on TikTok and like three years ago videos about your ex and his wife but you can't talk about Palestine without making it about yourself. So you guys may be wondering why Selena Gomez has been trending over the last 24 hours, and it's definitely not for good reasons. Some of you may know that Selena Gomez recently got into some controversy after she finally decided to use her platform, well, kind of, about the violence in Gaza and everything that's happening in Palestine right now. Selena has been pretty silent over the last couple of weeks, but she made a statement last week and it was just not it. Selena has over 430 million followers on her Instagram, a massive, massive audience, and people thought that this statement of hers was just completely tone deaf. She said, I've been taking a break from social media because my heart breaks to see all of the horror, hate, violence, and terror that's going on in the world. People being tortured and killed or any act of hate towards any one group is horrific. We need to protect all people, especially children, and stop the violence for good. And this is the part of her statement that she was getting dragged for all of her social media that people thought was just super tone deaf of her. She continues saying, I'm sorry if my words will never be enough for everyone or a hashtag. I just can't stand by innocent people getting hurt. That's what makes me sick. I wish I could change the world, but a post won't. And people have to disagree with that because Selena has a huge platform and it seems like she's not using it for good. This was what she was getting called out for all over social media and that only led her to make this post just yesterday before she deleted it within 10 minutes. After all the backlash she got for her statement on the Israel-Palestine conflict and after she was getting called out for making herself seem like she wasn't good enough or had enough of an influence to make some change on this situation or spreading more about what's happening, she made this post saying, I'm taking a break and deleting my Instagram. I'm done. I do not support any of what's going on. My parents did not raise a quitter, but they did raise a narcissist. They did raise a narcissist. I feel like out of all the celebrities that were like surprised or taking a neutral stance, I was never surprised by Selena. This girl will use every opportunity to pretend she cares about the greater good, but when it comes down to it, she doesn't actually. Exhibit A is when somebody asked her why she didn't say anything about Black Lives Matter or police brutality. This was her response. Response, pause to read. And exhibit B is she had to take a social media break because her heart is broken. Do you know how narcissistic you have to be to make this about yourself? To say that a post won't change the world when you have 430 million followers? Not only were people dragging her all over TikTok, but also on Twitter. Over on Twitter, people were saying things like, only Selena Gomez would find a way to make a genocide about herself. Instead of educating herself about Palestine's history, after the backlash she got, Selena Gomez did what she does best, victimizing herself, being ignorant, and making everything about herself. Now, this original statement that Selena Gomez made actually didn't surprise some people, because if some of you may remember, Remember, back in 2016, Selena Gomez was getting called out for what seemed to be her dismissing the Black Lives Matter movement. There are more important things to talk about. Why can't people use their voice for something that effing matters? And Selena responded to this person saying, oh, lol, so that means if I hashtag something, I save lives? No. I could give two Fs about sides. You don't know what I do. Now, I think it's safe to say that we can all agree that a hashtag or a post wouldn't actually save someone's life. But the point that people are making to celebrities like Selena Gomez and other popular influencers is to spread word and information on what the situation is like on the ground level. Because although it is very graphic and intense and something that is hard to accept as reality, people are dying, including innocent children. And people are also pointing out circumstances how last week the internet and phone services had went down for around 36 hours due to network damage in Gaza. Journalists have been found 
down dead and airstrikes since October 7th, and people want more awareness for others to understand that there is a genocide going on in Palestine, and that's why people are doing so many protests all around the world to cease fire. People also noticed that Selena Gomez liked a photo of Angelina Jolie where she posted a photo of Gaza currently, and someone said, Selena Gomez has liked Angelina Jolie's post about Gaza. Now it's time for her to post some links, hoping she redeems herself. I think it's funny how Selena Gomez can never take heat for more than a day, but she has never had any problem letting the world bully women in her name for months on end. This has always been manipulative and weird. Selena Gomez is once again making genocide about her. She has announced a social media break twice now. The first one she broke within a matter of days. She truly does not care about humanity or about what anyone is criticizing her for. She simply does not care. She did it again, the same way she handled BLM. Nobody asked you your comment on this. If you didn't want to, don't. But stop making every situation about you. Someone also brought up how a post really does have influence when it comes to Selena Gomez, saying, I love how Selena Gomez is saying, a post isn't going to change anything. McGirl, you sure did leave one comment about Hailey Bieber under a 10-year-old video, and your fans put that on trial for months. This person even said, Selena Gomez supporting Israel shouldn't be a surprise. They both have one thing in common, playing the victim. Selena ended up losing almost 270,000 followers on her Instagram after she showed her support for Israel a couple of weeks ago when every celebrity was posting what side they were on. She liked this post. She liked it and I saw it with my own two eyeballs. She unliked it, which clearly shows that she knows that she shouldn't have been liking it. Here is a screen recording. Literally, you can see that she liked it. You can literally see it right there. And I saw it with my own two eyes. I swear to you, I saw it with my own two eyes. This wasn't even the only one. Someone also has a screen recording of her liking Jessica Alba's posts, which I couldn't find when I went onto Jessica Alba's page. I think she might have deleted it. People, including Selena's fans, are just fed up that Selena has been silent for so long and that this statement was all she had to come out with weeks later. She is literally the most followed woman on Instagram, but her post won't do anything. Okay. She also posted this photo saying, Having a sister every day has made me tragically sick. I would do anything for children and innocent lives. Well, it seems like she's not doing much, at least not doing much with her platform. Selena has disabled her comments on her recent Instagram photos, but that hasn't stopped people from calling her out on her mental health page, commenting things like, if anyone is serious about mental health, they would be serious about ensuring a ceasefire to stop more innocent deaths. The hypocrisy is just, this page preaches about overcoming mental health issues all the time, yet never bothered to post or consider or speak up about the mental health of those that have survived the genocide happening right now and never spoke about the thousands of lives lost either. Shame on such brands and the people behind them. Anyways guys, this has been Selena Gomez announcing her second break on social media over the last week and her getting blasted all over social media for her contribution to this Israel-Palestine conflict and how she's using her platform. I definitely want to know what you guys think in the comments down below. Let me know. I love you guys so much and as always, I'll see y'all in the next video.